In this video, we're gonna teach you how to inspect carbon ceramic rotors, specifically on a Mercedes, but this is gonna to apply to pretty much any ceramic rotor. So let's go ahead and get started. First and foremost, let's go ahead and talk about the hairline cracks that you see on carbon ceramic rotors. This is one of the first questions you're gonna get from someone who's new to carbon ceramic rotors. And just to ease your mind, it is normal to see these little cracks on here. It kind of looks like a, an older porcelain vase and, uh, and that's because that heating process caused those lines on the vase. And it's the same thing with the carbon ceramic rotors. These lines you see, they are actually made in the process of making the rotor. What you don't wanna see is any deep cracks. Anything that like you could actually see that is going through the layers of the actual rotor. Anything evident, anything that you could actually start seeing little fibers sticking out. And you don't definitely wanna see any cracks coming out of the holes. So on most carbon ceramic rotors, there's a wear indicator, and typically there's three of them in different parts of the rotor. And if you look right here, this is our wear indicator. And this is a quick little diagram to show you how it's supposed to look when it's worn. And if you look at mine, mine looks pretty good. Essentially, if you start seeing a darker, uh, uh, more deeper kind of, I wanna say gouges, but wear, that means that your rotor is probably worn down. But make sure you look at these and make sure you look at all three of them. If you look over here, we have some more. Let's see if we can find you another one. There's another one right there. And then there's another one somewhere probably hidden back there. The rotor actually has information from the manufacturer that is going to help you learn a lot about it. So first off, it's made in Germany. And then when we come over here, we're going to have uh, a number that starts with a six on the left side and that's gonna be your serial number. And then we come over here and the one that starts with an A is gonna be your part number. And then we come over here and that's gonna be the direction. And then as we come around, we have an AMG logo. And then it's kind of hard to see, but then we have a 2515. And that means that the rotor was built in the 25th week of 2015. And then if we look over here, we have a one and a 5835, and that's gonna be really important. We're gonna talk about that here in a bit because I skipped over that number right here, and that's because we have three sets of numbers. If we look over here, we had the one, and then we have the two, and then we have the three. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what that is. Well, first off, the one, two, three is just the set of the numbers. But then we have 57 and then a 34. So 34 is gonna be in millimeters and that's when you're gonna be using your micrometer to check the thickness of the rotor. And I believe the 57 is the maximum, like when it came new. Now I did contact the dealership and uh, my local dealership and I asked them what that first number is. They didn't know, but I'm assuming pretty sure that the 32 on this one and the 34 on that one is gonna be the minimum thickness. So then we come around and we have uh, right here a minimum weight. And that's gonna be so you could check the weight of your rotor and that's gonna help you know if it's worn down. And so pretty much when you're checking these rotors and you're taking them out, you're gonna weigh them and you're gonna be testing uh, in different parts with the numbers one, two, three, their thickness because you take measurements not in one place, but in this particular one, three places. All right, so this is a micrometer, and this is a tool that people usually use to check the thickness of a rotor. And if we remember our numbers, we had, uh, they were in the 30s, and that kind of makes sense when you think about a rotor for minimum thickness. I think it was like 38. So if you see, that's a, it's really, uh, not, that's not very thick. And of course we had numbers all the way close to the 60, which seems pretty thick, but this is the tool that most people use. But when I called the dealership, this is actually the instructions for Mercedes to check the rotor. And this is uh, uh, what they look like. And also they use a laser. They use a tool to measure it, which is pretty wild. And, uh, but this is the old school way how to check your rotors. If you don't have one of these, I'm gonna put a link for a good one in the description, uh, but this is like a must have tool whenever you're working on stuff. We hope you learned something about carbon ceramic rotors. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you for watching, hit that like button, and we'll talk to you soon.